Hey all, Rusty Harvey TV, welcome. Check it out. We're out here at the Quartzsite Fire Department. No, there's no emergency. I just had to stop somewhere and set up the cameras on the buggy. We got the Dusty Nugget out. Straight across, there's their Life Flight helicopters. Them guys are on duty 24-7. They save a lot of lives out here. Anywho, I hope everyone had a great Christmas. It's kind of the midweek between Christmas and New Year's. I thought we'd go take a ride out in the desert. On the left there, there's a little medical center of Quartzsite 2. It's cold in Arizona, cold for here. Highs are in the 50s, lows are in the 30s, a lot of wind. We've had a ton of rain come through. Kind of nice to see, though. And what do we got? We're only about three days left in this year. 2021 is going to be gone. This is Plymouth Avenue. You know, uh, right up here, I'm going to answer a couple questions I get in comments. I always drive by this thing up here and let's stop. When I say airport, this is a remote controlled airport, remote controlled aircraft. It's for hobbyists. They got clubs uh, that run this thing. They're on Facebook. Let's pull in a second. It's fun to come out and watch these guys fly their uh, model airplanes. They got all different sizes, big to small. It's pretty cool. They got a name for the field. James B. Coleman Field, that's what it is. Remote control, they got them, look at this. Little benches set up. This is a little staging area for their aircraft. I mean, you always see people out here. I'm, I'm amazed no one's here now. They got a few rules to follow. You can come out and fly your uh, model aircraft. I think February they got the big ones like the 120th scales. They're pretty good size. They come out and do air aerobatic type maneuvers. It's kind of cool to watch. All this property out here, this is all connected to the town of Quartzsite. It's part of the Quartzsite Town Park. can see out through there there's a pavilion straight down this is actually the backside of Ra Celia's Rainbow Garden right there too kind of cool people come out walk their dogs walk through the park that's where all the memorials are for the Rainbow Garden we can see blue sky it's chilly chilly in the desert anyway but if you get a chance, once again, come out and check this. Uh, these guys fly their airplanes. It's really, really cool. Fun to watch. Let me cut through up here. Right up here is a good old quartzite dog park. Green grass for the doggies. Yay. They've really expanded it. They've done pretty good with it. It's almost like its own little social club. <laughs> kind of fun. But we'll cut through another big question I have now because I guess that RTR is going to be at the Quartzsite ball field is where's the ball field at? I'll show you here in a second. Oh yeah, they got quite a few dogs out. Look at that. They fixed this up nice. Okay, straight ahead up here. This is uh, the ball field area, playground, all that. It's huge. A lot of acres here. We can see the lights of the ball field right there. I'll cut through the backside. 
Because we're heading to the desert. Yay. There's a little dirt road up here. You make a left. This is real easy access to get back in here. Always look for the twin airplanes down there. That's the start of the park. There's your ball field. Also that lot right next to it, that big open lot, that's where the Quartzite Metal Detecting Club does their treasure hunts. They never get them all. You always see people out there metal detecting. You can find uh, coins, sometimes even a little nugget because they do bury gold there during part of their treasure hunts. Then swing back around over here. Show you how big this place is. There's your dog park pavilion and there's the RC airport. Pretty cool. Anyway, that's a really good look at uh, Quartzsite Town Park. Should be a busy January here. There's a ground look from it. Green grass. Green grass in the desert. They got a little food booth vending out here to open it up. Quartzsite also holds their uh, western days here. Right here used to be a football field but they took it all out. I used to have grass too. Then in case you're interested Quartzsite does offer they got these little metal buildings up here. This is the Quartzsite Community Center. They got a lot of activities. The bigger building up here on the left, they actually got weight room in there. I think they charge a dollar a day. It's a donation type thing. And for a buck, you can come in there all day long and use their machines, weight machines, get healthy. It's also a cooling center in the summer for the folks that don't have air conditioning. Very active building. All right, enough of this. Let's head for the desert. Yay. Today, we'll go out by Dome Rock Road. A friend of mine was telling me they found a huge chunk. Look at that Miner's Depot straight across. They are open for business. Friends of mine said out on the gold claims, you know, you can join the gold club there at Miner's Depot. It's 20 bucks a year. You got access to about 400 acres of claims. They said they uh, found a huge chunk of quartz that's in the ground. I need to go check it out, so we're going to go try to find that. And also with the Christmas uh, time traffic, you know, we are right on Interstate 10 here. And there's a massive volume of people that stop and get fuel here in Quartzsite. Just regular travelers. So the town is busy. It's buzzing right now. And over the bridge we go. Off to the right to Tyson Wells. Oh yeah, I see a lot more vendors. Look at that, they're popping up daily now. Not too many more weeks till showtime. The first one is uh, Rockin' Jam that starts uh, January 7th. Which is what, about 10 days? Pretty quick. But they're open for business now, you can buy now. Make it right here on Kewen. No shopping today though. 
there's a game store on the left. We're going to stay right on cue and actually, once we get out past Loves, this turns into Dome Rock Road. We'll check them vendors another time. I don't know, just figured it was a good day for a ride in the desert. Plus, it's not too dusty with the rain. The dust has settled. That's kind of nice, too. That's a big plus. Well, looks like desert gardens are starting to fill up. This is where they got all the rock guys. They sell bulk rocks from all over the world. Pretty amazing. If you never walk down through there, do it. Here's the big intersection of Loves. And exit 17, straight ahead. Now this turns right into Dome Rock Road right here. Look at that diesel. My goodness, over four bucks a gallon. That hurts. All right, let's keep trucking. There's about the only motel. There's two motels in town. That stagecoach and this uh, Super 8. That's going to change from what I hear. They're going to build some big ones. Of course, you always hear that. Okay, right out here to the left. That's uh, gold claims. You see quite a few rigs out there. We're going to go out and we're going to find Jumping Jack Gold Claim. That's where that quartz, big quartz rock supposed to be. We'll find it. I think I know where it is. And this is entering the Dome Rock Mountain Dispersed Camping Area. Part of the Bureau of Land Management. 14 day free camping out here. This place will be packed during the big shows. A lot of people like staying out here. You always see a lot of groups camp out here. As soon as we get across the bridge, it's about where the property line starts. Just past this little dirt road up here. Right off to the right, you see those trailers there, that flag, that's where the camp post is, that's where you get your permit, back in here. There's the sign, Dome Rock Mountain. Wow, there's quite a few rigs out here, look at them all. It's already getting busy, a lot of vendors will stay out here too. There's Dome Rock, kind of off to the left. You talk about mining, this place has been mined for eons. They always find gold out here. But the metal detecting uh, club, the, actually it's the Quartzite Gold Club. Off to the right, they own uh, several claims out here, and also on the other side of I-10. Okay, we're looking for Jumping Jack Claim. Should be right up here somewhere. Aha, I see it. I've been out here a lot. Not this year, first time this year to be out here. There's their little sign. 
Once again, 20 bucks you get access for an entire year out here. There it is, jumping jack claim. Alright, let me switch cameras real quick. Alright, here we go. Using the GoPro Hero 10. Capture all this footage. This claim, it's, I don't know how many acres it is. They all got names to them. If you join the club, they give you a map to all this stuff. Wow, that guy got his trailer right in there, huh? But you can set up camp and start mining. A lot of these guys bring out dry washers, metal detectors. Look for their fortune. A lot of washes in here. Just be careful where you camp. There's a group of folks. Having fun looking for their gold nuggets. Alright, we need to go clear back to the fence line and follow along the freeway and that's where that big quartz rock vein is supposed to be back here somewhere. Here's the trail, as far as we can go. All right, let's go find it. The hunt starts here. You definitely need four wheel to come on this thing, this little dirt path. Boy, the winds are picking up. Another one of those storms are blowing in, I think. It is fun to come out of here. Just see how much traffic's on that I-10. Them trucks just 24-7. Never stop. Well, I haven't seen that quartz yet. Supposed to be right along this path here. Huh. They got markings for fiber optic. You know, a lot of these paths were created uh, when they ran utilities out through here. There's a huge nat natural gas line. Maybe we'll go back that way cuts over by Dome Rock Mountain. Well, I still don't see it. Might have to launch a drone to find it. Hey, we found a spare tire. Probably came off some car flying down the freeway there. Ah. Well, let's see. Getting close near the end of this path. There it is. Look at it, right there. That's it, that's the picture they showed me. Okay, we gotta stop. Big old quartz going right in the ground there, huh? They've been coming out, busting this thing up, looking for gold. But this is what you can find on the gold claims. 
Quartz everywhere. It's amazing, huh? Just everywhere in the ground is quartz. You know, in the heavy monsoon rains, it stirs up the soil and the water. All this floods through here during the heavy rains really stirs it up. But there it is. You ever see a big chunk of quartz in the ground? There you go. Pretty amazing, huh? a good place of metal detect. But 14 days free camping, 20 bucks you can mine on these uh, prospect and mine on these uh, claims out here. Surface mine, you can't dig too deep. But you always see people out there, dry washers, metal detectors. A little bit of the freeway noise, not bad. Hey, you're looking for gold, who cares, huh? It was fun to come out and find it. From a picture that was shown, we found it. Yay. Well, let's cut back over the other side here and we'll head back towards Quartzite that way. Journey continues. Talk soon.